final. Raymond van Barneveld has, well, in recent times, a really poor record against his illustrious opponent. Can you believe that Michael van Gerwen has won 10 out of the last 12 meetings? Barney's two victories have both come in the Premier League, including uh, the en route to winning the 2014 Premier League. World number one against the world number 16. The times have a change as far as Dutch darts is concerned over the last two, two and a half years. Yes, they certainly have, Stuart. But oh, let's not forget, Barney has still got the game to turn up tonight and First beat Michael. Michael well, there's no question about that. Game on. He's become a five times world champion and his performance last night suggests that he's in you know, a good mood. We know Barney, when he gets behind, starts to shake his head at times. But um, if he does that tonight, then Michael will certainly jump on it. Yeah, Van Gerwen, uh, 105.69 in his 6-4 win over David 60. Platt. Was pushed all the way. Platt, four out of four on the doubles. Um, Raymond van Barneveld, in the end, a comfortable win over Simon Whitlock, wasn't it? 436. With 103 average. And it's interesting how... Uh, shared a car with Van Barneveld to the venue earlier on today. And the key for him is Sylvia, Mrs. Van Barneveld. And Barney was saying the key for him last night was just being relaxed. You know, just going on stage, actually trying to enjoy it and, and not worry about, you know, if he has a bad throw or if he misses a double, just relax. Well, we've all been telling him that for an awful long time, though, Stuart. He's never listened to you know, people that are in the know. And when you've got a throw like Barney, I mean, it is really a smooth as silk when he's on form. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get frustrated, it's going to tighten the arm up. That's when you're going to start missing. So if you are relaxed, your throw's going to be more relaxed and you're going to hit more of what you're actually aiming for. Um, but this man, Michael Van Gogh, his throw's completely different. It's a real aggressive throw. Double 16 for the first leg. Oh, the first nice leg. 15 leg. dart opening leg for leg Van Gerwen. Well, Michael Van Gerwen has used the same darts for many, many years and uh, absolutely precious to them. A lot of players they switch, don't they? And they, they change. And Michael Van Gerwen last night actually had new points on the darts, but that. To Michael Van Gerwen, that's, just, that's as much change as he will do with the darts that have brought him so much success. Yeah, the, the, it's a good point, but the youngsters don't tend to change their darts much. When they find a set of darts that's working, like with Michael, nothing ever comes into their head about changing. As the majority of players get older, 140. they do tend to change. I mean, as you get older, your physique changes, your arm changes, and that's why normally why people have changed their darts. If you go through a bad spell, right, a set of darts, as you see Barney putting the first 180 of the match. And talking about those darts, and, and, I mean, that Barnabal changes darts more than, well, hit and pitch are right, possibly more than any other player, but Barney has, has gone back to the darts that he had so much success with in the Premier League. Another 180, setting up a chance to level with a 13 darter. But yeah, the darts that he he did brilliantly well to get through to finals night. They're the ones that he's brought here to Australia and New Zealand for the World Series. And no trouble at all. One apiece and two very strong holes of throw from Van Gerwen and Van Barneveld. The winner will play James Wade in the semi finals. Disappointed with the switch. Treble three. This is the key to the game for Barneveld for me, Stuart, that he's got to hold on to his throw very strongly. And he's going to start you know, throwing 15 darts in his throw and, and not having a, a pop at a double, and Michael will punish him for it. But the longer the game goes on and Barnevelt is still in the mix, the more confident Barney will get. We've seen that when he beat him in the Premier League a couple of years ago. And of course, being a five times world champion, you don't win world championships with being a rubbish dart player. So, 45. As we see the averages there, both players exceptional averages. Well, for, for five, five and a half legs of his match against David Platt in the first round, Michael Van Gerwen was averaging over 120. He was 
looking for a world record score in a televised event, but a few missed doubles. Dipped a little, but here he is, 132. Interesting there, Stuart. The, you know, on 132, when your opponent's on the shot, the 25 bullseyes the route. And also, some players, the flair players like Fenger, will go that way any time. He's totally focused tonight. No interest in going for that bullseye. Just want to set it up for a 13 dart leg. Maybe 14. Oh, now then, this is a big dart. Look, Barney's waiting. And Barney will get a chance. Three missed darts. From Michael Van Gerwen, what a chance here for Raymond Van Barneveld. Oh, you're only going to get one dart instead of two. Tops to win the last leg in the world, the single one. How costly will that prove to be? Let's put that down on your sheet, Stuart. One missed chance for Barney. Van Gerwen finally takes some and little chances like that early on. It's the destiny of how this match goes, and that one mistake by Barney could be very costly come the end of the game. Yeah, it may well be, but the key, as we were saying before, we've just got to forget about it. Just, you know, just get on with his game and starts the leg with a 140. From Perth, we go to Sydney, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, the Qantas Credit Union Arena for the next stage of the 2015 World Series. Suggested. Well, he didn't mind about this in the doubles. He's kicked this leg off with two 140s. Yep. And he's going to do that on his throat. He's not going to lose a lot. 90. Yeah. 60. Yeah. Right, 131. Just wants to set this up. 17 now, that'll leave him double shot. Very wild. Well, the thing about this, Barney may only come back to one dart of the double, so if Engel he can fill this treble 20 up. 138. He's, he's put some pressure 74. on the 74. Oh, he's missed the 14. Great recovery to leave double ten. That's brilliant. Well, in the last leg, he was wide of the mark with the first dart and paid the price. But that's a great recovery, and it's as if nothing is bothering him. He's just determined to get up and play his game. Two all. Good stuff, this. Also, let's not forget that Barney's had uh, dental surgery. Eighty-one. <laughs> At the start of the week, yesterday. Yes, that's, yeah. a, that's incredible. Yeah, root canal surgery. Fifty-seven. Came to the venue, played brilliantly well to take out Simon Whitlock. Pain-free for the first time in a while, and playing pretty well against Michael no, Van Gerwen. Ninety-six. Michael Van Gerwen losing in the final to Phil Taylor here 12 months ago. He does look focused, Stu, doesn't he? He does. Look at his eyes, his head's not moving at all, not even blinking in between throwing those darts. That's a good sign for Barnaby. Barney can just set this up. Van Gerwen comes back, maybe only one dart of the double. Could see a break of throw here, but he needs a treble. 96. Finds the treble. Well, Barnevelt took out the 74 under pressure the previous leg. Can Van Gerwen take out the 68? Question answered in two darts. Well, all five legs. One on throw. and Make no mistake, Van Barnevel is right in this quarterfinal. And he is... Matching Van Gerwen blow for blow at the moment. Michael will know he's in again. He beat Barney in the quarterfinals of the Dubai Darts Masters, but that was close. Just came down to one missed dart from Barney. 10 8 it was. He's playing really well here. Van Gerwen 102 average, Barnabelle 103. 
421. Just the impression that, that, that Van Gerwen is rushing the last dart. Certainly when he's going for the treble 20. Four or five occasions he's had to get a, his first maximum 16. of this quarter final, but just rush the last dart. Well, the thing about Van Gerwen, Stuart, is that you know he's good enough to be called a legend, although he hasn't been in the game long enough to actually be called it. But to keep continuously beaten Van Barneveld and Taylor puts him up there with the greats of the game. And so by beating Barney, so he's so determined to keep beating the two big boys, and that's why you see those extra rush darts. He just so wants to find that extra treble. Yeah. It wasn't to criticism, it was an observation. Very hard to criticise the best player in the world, which Michael Van Gerwen is. What a good dart that is from Raymond Van Barneveld. Barney is played beautifully. This is a terrific quarter final. And Raymond Van Barneveld, make no mistake, is right in this. The world number one being pushed. All Top players will be in Sydney next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at the Qantas Credit Union Arena. If you're in Sydney, in the area, and fancy going, it should be a great tournament. Phil Taylor winning here in Perth and in Sydney. Last year, Michael Van Gerwen, desperate to go one better and win the Perth Darts Masters, but he's going to have to produce his best darts, his first maximum. Those are the sort of darts Michael Van Gerwen will need. He had to really dig deep, didn't he, to, to beat David Platt in the first round. But again, Barnevel's still in it. That's a great response. Yes, it's taken seven legs. 16. World number one. Still hit a maximum. But again, Barney's three darts to follow up it shows that he's in a good place. Just needs to keep that nice smooth rhythm going and uh, as I said, as we get towards the business end of this game then the pressure will come on Michael more than Raymond. Another one maybe? Whoa! Absolutely another one from Michael Van Gerwen. Two in this leg, possible 11 data. What I like about Van Barnevel's performance is that he's not panicking, he's just playing his own game. Double 12. Well, out of, out of the break, that's a brilliant leg. I have to say, the leather data from Michael Van Gerwen. And that's as good a leg as we've seen in this tournament so far. Brilliant from the young man. Well, our regular anorak here at the World Series in Australia, Richard Ashdown, our spotter, come up with this little gem of information. First time they met, Back in 2006 at the International Darts League when Michael Van Gerwen was 17. It was his TV debut. 100. Barney beat him. And not so long after that, Van Gerwen, still only 17, hit a nine darter against Barney at the Masters of Darts, also in Holland. And well, Barney went on to win that famous, famous world championship in the PDC, beating Phil Taylor in what many people still refer to as the greatest game. And Michael Van Gerwen has turned his career into something which is just simply sensational. Both icons of the game. Well, certainly Van Gerwen has turned the screw a little bit 60. after the commercial Mark break. He's got a chance for the first break of throw. 18, he's got to go for the ball. Now it's the double seven. Eight double eight seven eight it is. Eight a eight beautiful eight 88 checkout from Michael Van Gogh. And that is the first break of throw of this match. And now a little bit of daylight for the world number one. 100. He's, he's, he's come out after the break with two brilliant legs 11 darter followed by a 12 darter 99 but yeah. Barnabas has not done a lot wrong has he no but Michael just, just holds that extra little bit of scoring power doesn't he you know when he gets on the run three or four legs it's those level 12s as we call it it's very hard to hold I see Barney still playing exactly the same game as he's done literally from the start 
just over the 100 average. And it's Mighty Mike that's uh, up his average by three or four points. That's the difference. Here, Barneveld with a chance. Stolen a march in this leg. And a great chance to strike back and break back straight away. 140. A seventh 140 from Van Barneveld. 105 average Van Gerwen. 104 average Van Barneveld. 45. Um, well, we praise Van Gerwen for the last two legs. You've got to praise Van Barneveld here for a fantastic response. He won't go 18. He's got to go 18. 19. He wasn't going to go for the ball there. I was actually surprised that he went the 18 route because that leads into the bullseye where the treble 20 is just going to set it up. But the bullseye 19. could have cost him. Now his favourite double 16 to get that break straight back. 13 darts for Barnabelt and 14. Oh, he doesn't want to let Van Gogh come back for this. And doesn't. A real good solid leg from. Barney back in the game, back in the game, back in business. And I have to say, playing really, really well. And you, you just saw in two brilliant legs from Van Gerwen putting the accelerator down and you know really saying over to you, mate, because this is my game and I'm gonna win, but not a bit of it. The response from Van Barneveld. Certainly encouraging to see. For all the Barney Army, huge legion of fans around the world, this would be perfect timing. But at the moment, the 140s are getting the job done for Barney. Well, they are the bread and butter of the professional players' game, I'm afraid. The 180s are great to have, but the 140s are going to win your leg on leg. But I think it's the attitude that Barney's got last night beating Simon, because we see that as an upset, we have to say. And he's come out against Michael tonight with that same attitude. You know, as if he's just playing ball. Oh, oh, brilliant dance nice. from Van Gogh. It gives him a chance. But it is the attitude to me that he's giving Barney, well, letting him throw the darts that he's throwing. 65, my view of For the 184. With perfect timing from Van Gogh in. Double 11. Brilliant! You have to say, we've just seen six fabulous darts. Well, six perfect darts. 180, 124. He was quiet for a leg and a half, but you can't keep Van Gerwen quiet for long. Well, his last three legs have been 11, 12, 12. Exceptional throw up to 106 and a half. So he's turning the screw. Slightly, but Barney. I keep saying it. He's in a good mood, and when he's in a good mood, the fluency of his throws there, but certainly the fluency of Van Gogh. He didn't hit a 180 for seven legs. He's now hit four. Three hundred and four with six darts from absolutely nowhere. When Raymond van Barneveld was in charge of the leg and looking favourite to make it five apiece, not a bit of it. And that is why Michael van Gerwen is the best dart player in the world at the moment. That's why he's won 13 tournaments this year. 100. But he isn't the world champion. The world champion will be on the stage later on, Gary Anderson against Adrian Lewis. 82. So Van Gerwen here, looking like stealing a march, 106 and a half average. But Van Barneveld oh, hits back with a perfectly nice. timed 180. Will he get a dart and a double? There's the answer. 7 4 Van Gerwen, sensational for the world number one. Game on. Well, Raymond Van Barneveld has played really well, make no mistake. Michael Van Gerwen is one leg away from winning this game and going through to the semi-finals. But Barney hasn't done a lot wrong. Five 180s in the last five legs from Michael Van Gerwen. But let's put this on record. This is encouraging for Raymond Van Barneveld. It's very encouraging. This performance has been excellent from the five times world champ. 
He hasn't been far away from Van Gerwen. 97. I couldn't agree with you more. Barney playing like this is a joy to watch. The fans always love him. He can just keep upbeat like this. and you know, He hasn't lost his focus. He hasn't lost his concentration. And, and the confidence in his own ability is totally there. The only... If, if, if you... The only mistake that Van Barneveld has made was missing a dart in the third leg to break when he needed 16, hit single one with his first dart. Apart from that, he's played really well. He needs the ball for a 1-2-1. One, one. Well, Van Gerwen took this out in the previous leg. A 1-2-4. He's going to go the bullseye route this time. Bullseye route it is for Van Gerwen. Oh, that's a long sale. As you can see from his Ready expression. Barney, don't miss the big number here. He's missed it twice, and the match has not double eight. Twenty-one. Well, unlucky. Michael Van Gerwen for the match. Needs tops and double ten. A double so, ten. It is a really good game. Going. Raymond Van Barneveld played brilliantly, and that. August well for the rest of the year, for the rest of the World Series.